What's up everybody, Paul Hickey here with your data-driven daily tip. I'm pumped about this one today because we're talking about Google Optimize A-B testing. We are data-driven design, thus we will be A-B testing to get answers on making decisions on what to do on websites and so will our clients. And so today's data-driven daily tip is all about how to use Google Optimize to set up exper experiments in your website. So let's jump right into it. Step number one is you're going to install modified Google Analytics tracking code on your website. So to do that, you're gonna go to optimize.google.com. It's gonna take you to the marketing platform URL, but it's basically just Google's center for showing you all the different their different marketing tools. Once you get into Optimize, you can use your same login, email, password that you use for Google Analytics, create your free Optimize account. Once you get in there, you're going to be taken to your dashboard, your container dashboard. It looks like this, and you can click the button over on the right-hand side that says install optimize under add optimize to your website there's a bunch of documentation on the google uh, forums on this but the most effective way is to just follow these instructions it's going to walk you through the modified google analytics tracking code as well as what they call the page hiding snippet so i'm going to have links to that documentation at dataoveropinions.com blog version of this video you can click in the description of this video to find it. But the best thing to do is to just use their tutorial within Optimize. Then the second part is you're gonna actually have to go into Google Tag Manager. So if you don't have a Google Tag Manager account, you can go to dataoveropinions.com, click on one of the tags on the right-hand side of the blog that talks about Google Tag Manager and you will find a resource on how to install Google Tag Manager onto your website. Once you've done that, you'll log into your Google Tag Manager workspace and you're gonna create a new tag. And this is what that looks like. You're gonna go create the new tag and it's gonna be called a Google Optimize tag, okay? So you're gonna, once you create your Google Optimize tag, you're gonna select or paste your container ID in your Google Optimize container ID, which you get from your Google Optimize account and you're gonna select a Google Analytics setting, and you are not going to add a trigger. You're going to save the tag as is, okay? Now, once you save the tag as is, there's a part B to the, to the uh, Google Tag Manager setup. It's called setting up a tag sequence. When you do that, you're gonna click, uh, create another tag okay so this is you're creating your second tag and it's gonna be a Google Analytics page view tag so you're gonna make it a Google Analytics uni universal analytics tag and you're gonna to need to make sure you go into advanced settings and once you go into advanced settings you're going to find where you have um, what's called the, oh, sorry, you go to advanced settings and then you select to fire a tag before this tag fires. So um, here's what that looks like. Tag sequencing, check the box that says fire a tag before this Google Analytics um, tag fires. And then you're gonna select a Google optimized tag and save it. Once you do that, you're gonna deploy that, those changes to your Google Tag Manager account. So you're deploying two changes to your Google Tag Manager account. You've got a Google Optimize tag and a Google Analytics page view tag that's gonna fire before your Google Optimize tag. It's actually pretty easy if you watch this video on my screen. Then, you have basically deployed everything that you need to do. However, you may get an error and I'm gonna show you this. So you're gonna to wanna to go back into your Google Optimize account and in your dashboard, you're gonna to wanna to click Run Diagnostics. And when you click Run Diagnostics, you may get some errors. Now I'm gonna walk you through what to do when you get these errors, okay? So some of the errors I got at first, and it will take a minute 
for the JavaScript on your page to load. But once it loads, you're probably going to see that you have the wrong Google Tag Manager number in your page hiding snippet. It's going to give you a couple, it may give you a couple page hiding snippet configuration errors. One it gave me at first is where it said that the Google Tag Manager container ID, not the optimized container ID, needed to be in the page hiding snippet. Actually, this was wrong. Um, what ended up happening was I switched the Google Tag Manager container ID in for the Google Optimized container ID, and I still got an error. Um, so what I needed to do on my WordPress site, the most important thing to do is to make sure that this modified Google Analytics tracking code, as well as the page hiding snippet, which goes above it, is in the beginning of the head code in your entire website. So because I was using a WordPress theme and I had my Google Analytics code installed within the theme portion of where the theme wants you to put the tracking code, Google Optimize was not seeing it there. So what I had to do was delete it from there and use the head and footer scripts inserter WordPress plugin to make sure that all of it got to the top of the header code in my WordPress site. And then I swapped back the Google Optimize container ID in the page hiding snippet, okay? So I went back to the original instructions that I showed you at the beginning of this video that I talked about at the beginning of this audio. And then I flushed the browser, browser cache several times. And then I ultimately got a validation message from Google Optimize that I had fixed the error and that in fact my experiment was running. As you can see on my screen now, we've got Optimize installation verified with no errors and the experiment is running. And in the next data-driven daily tip, I'm gonna show you actually how to go in and run the experiment. The most important step was getting all of this stuff situated so that now you never have to do this again once it's set up in your website. Today's data-driven daily tip, believe it or not, is gonna be very valuable for data-driven design employees as well as the marketing directors, data analysts, agencies, and small business owners out there listening and watching today. This is a complicated one, but this has been your data-driven daily tip. Now you're set up to run all kinds of experiments on your websites and A-B tests so that you can get real data, not guess, not have opinions, get real data around what's working best for you. I'm Paul Hickey. Have a great day.